Good afternoon. This is the voting meeting before the licensing board for the city of Boston. Today is Thursday, September 30th, uh, 2021. Uh, today, we're going to begin with the license inspection hearings that were held on September 28th. Sorry. Okay. Item number one is Ulevo LLC doing business as Cunrad Tavern, located at 24 Orleans Street, East Boston. Uh, there's a notice of violation, category CV7, all alcohol. Date of notice is July 15, 2021. Patron on uh, employee assault, second person pedestrian joined assault in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, and Chapter 265, Section 13A. I find no violation. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Item number two, Gubins LLC doing business as Medallo, located at 411 Chelsea Street, East Boston. Um, uh, general on premise, all alcohol. Date of violation was 7-17-2021. The notice was off-premise patron on patron assault with a dangerous weapon uh, to witness a firearm in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, and Chapter 265, Section 15A. Thanks, Maria. I find no violation. I don't either. I agree. Item number three, at 1732 Center Street, Inc., doing business as West. Located at 1732 to 1736 Center Street, West Roxbury. Notice uh, date of assault, date of notice was July 17th, 2021. Notice is assault and battery on a patron on patron in violation of Master General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, Chapter 265, Section 13A. Assault and battery patron on employee in violation of Master General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, and Chapter 265, Section 13A. Assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, pepper spray, patron on employee in violation of Master General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, and Section 15A. No violation. No violation. I agree. Item number four is BHC Corporation General Partner doing business as Club Cafe, located at 209 Columbus Ave, Boston. Date of the notice was 7-18-2021. The notice is assault patron on patron in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, Chapter 265, Section 13A. I see no violation. They were cooperative. They called the police and they tried to mitigate um, the verbal arguments that were going on. I agree. I agree as well. Moving on to item number five, Concord Entertainment Inc. doing business as Bill's Bar, the Lansdowne Pub, located at 9 Lansdowne Street, Boston. Date of notice was 6-18-21. The notice is assault and battery employee on patron in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 64, and Chapter 265, Section 13A. I see no violation. I don't either. I agree. Item number six, Concord Entertainment Inc. doing business as Bill's Bar, Lansdowne Pub, located at 9 Lansdowne. Date of notice is June 26, 2021. Notices employee dormant assault and battery on patron in violation of Master General Law Chapter 138, Section 64, and Chapter 265, Section 13A. There just wasn't enough there for me to um, get to a violation. Um, so I see no violation. I agree. I agree as well. Item number seven is Trattoria Lil Panino Hanover Inc. doing business as Trattoria Lil Panino Hanover Inc. located at 278 to 282 Hanover Street in Boston. Date of notice is July 11, 2021. It was overcrowding, 254 found on mechanical count and 234 capacity in violation of Master General Law Chapter 138, Section 64 and the board's rule 1.03J and 1.06A as well as F. I see a violation. 
Yeah, they were overcrowded. So Maria, do you have the history for overcrowding at this location, Andy? I do not. Okay, let me look it up. Okay. I'm looking, it doesn't look like anything recent. Okay, uh, thanks, Liam. Um, so I vote for a written warning. Yeah, I agree. Moving on to item number eight, Yard House USA, Inc. doing business as Yard House, located at 126 Brookline Avenue, Boston. Date of notice is July 28th, 2021. Notice is persons under 21 in possession of alcohol on premise in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 138, Section 34A, 34C, 64 to 64A. I vote for a violation. Yes, Ryan. I agree. Liam, do you have the history in front of you? I don't think there is history. Oh, you're on, you're on mute. Thought you're talking to yourself. <laughs> uh, no, not for underage. Okay, I, I vote for a written warning, Maria, in correspondence from the board regarding um, the responsibilities for IDing patrons. It was, uh, I'm seeing it, it was 2017. So I, I, I'm saying, so that wasn't, I wouldn't consider that reason enough. No, okay, thank you for checking. Sorry, just wanted to make sure it was clear. Okay. Moving on to item number nine is 44 Concord Square, LLC, located at 44 Concord Square, Square Roxbury. Date of notice is August 10th, 2021. The notice is informational hearing regarding management and operation of the licensed premise due to numerous quality of life complaints from residents in violation of Mass General Law, Chapter 140. I don't think we're taking any action on this. This is just an informational hearing. So we'll note it in the file, Maria. Now we move on to the transactional hearings that were held um, Wednesday, no, September 29th. Item number one was Clover Fast Food Inc. doing business as Clover Food Lab, 800 Boylston Street in Boston. Uh, has applied for common victual license to be exercised on the above. Heinz Court, 3,124 square feet, main entrance from Prue Center Concourse, one exit to Concourse, one egress to the corridor at the opposite end of space. Kitchen, coffee bar, and dining and seating area, three restrooms, including one ADA within the premise. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number two is Grove Hall Creamery, located at 444 Blue Hill Ave, Dorchester, Mass. Has applied for a common victual license to be exercised on the above in three rooms on the first floor with kitchen and storage in the rear. I vote to approve. I agree. Item number three. Sensei Burgeon, doing business as Cafe Turco on 483 Cambridge Street in Alston, has applied for a common victual license to be exercised on the above. First floor coffee shop with kitchen sandwiches, salad, basement for storage. I was of operation seven to 10. I vote to approve. I agree. Item number four would be Fresh Food Generation LLC, doing business as Fresh Food Generation on 185 Talbert Ave, has applied for a common victual license to be exercised on the above. Ground floor retail space with seating for eight, seasonal patio from March to October on private property with 30 seats to operate the same hours as a retail store. Hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. I vote to approve. Thank you. I agree. Item number five, Apollonia Enterprises LLC, doing business as Fuel America was postponed. Item number six, Worcester Tremont LLC, doing business as CAG House, located at 677 Tremont Street in Roxbury, has applied for a lodging house license to be exercised on the above. 
It's a six level building, one room in the garden level, as well as a laundry room and utility. Street level contains an entrance and commercial space. The first floor contains the main entrance and two rooms, each with their own bathroom and kitchen facility. Second, third, and fourth with own bathrooms and kitchen facilities. I vote to approve. Okay. I agree as well. Item number seven is Courtyard Management Court doing business as Courtyard Downtown, Boston Downtown, located at 275 Tremont Street, Boston. Holder of an in-holder all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from Dan Kakabeek to John G. Wilmoth. I vote to approve. Okay. I agree as well. Item number eight, Stregel Waterfront LLC, located at One Marina Park Drive in Boston. Holder of a common victualist seven day all alcoholic beverages license has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from Nikki Foley to Melissa Lee. Vote to approve. I agree. Very well. Uh, similar manager for Strip by Strager on item number nine, located at 50 Park Plaza. Also holder of a common victualist seven day alcoholic beverage license, changing the manager as well from Nick Foley to Melissa Lee. I vote to approve. Okay. Item number 10 is 11, pan, 11 Fan Pair Restaurant, LLC, doing business as Serafina, located at 11 pan, fan Pair Boulevard. Holder of a common victualist, seven day all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from Seth Greenberg to Jonathan Brackman. I vote to approve. Okay. I do as well. Item number 11, Building Association, Old Dorchester Post, number 65, doing business as American Legion, located at 500 Gallatin Boulevard in Dorchester. Holder of a club or veterans, all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from Stephen Bickerton to Charles E. Zwankowski. I vote to approve. I agree. Item number 12, 13, and 14 is the Massachusetts Sports Service doing business as TD Garden at 100 Legends Way, doing business as Legends at 100 Legends Way, and Jack Abbey's Track Zero Tap Room, also 100 Legends Way. Holder of a common victualist seven day all health beverage license has petitioned for change of officer directors. And lastly, has petitioned to change the manager of the license business from Timothy Townsell to Charles N. Adams. I vote to approve. I agree. Yes, well. Item number 15 is the Algonquin Club Hexacon LLC doing business as the Quinn House, located at 217 Commonwealth Avenue, Boston. Holder of a club all alcoholic beverage license has petitioned to pledge the license to Needham Bank. I vote to approve. I agree. Item number 16 and 17. Okay. Um, LSF Harborside LLC doing business as Legal Seafoods as holder of a common victualler seven day alcoholic beverage license petition to change the DBA of the business from Legal Seafoods to Legal Harborside. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. And item 17, also located at Logan Airport Terminal B, is HSI MCA Boston FB LLC. Holder of an airport common victualist seven day all health and beverage license has petitioned to change the DBA of the license business from Monument Restaurant Tavern to Sam Adams Tap Room Extension and Eats. I vote to approve. I do as well. Item number 18 is Gogo Mogul Inc. doing business as Sea Biscuit at 256 Marginal Street, East Boston. Holder of a common victualist seven day wines and bulk. Malt Beverages License has petitioned to amend the description of license business from in one room on the first floor, kitchen storage in the rear, to restaurant on one floor with seating for 25, kitchen and storage indoors with 2,700 square feet, with seating for 16 on an annual outdoor patio located on private property and 1,000 square feet, closing hour 11 p.m. I vote to approve. Thank you. I do as well. Item number 19 and item number 20 um, are connected. This is LSFW LLC doing business as Legal Seafoods at 26 Park Plaza. 
holder of a common victualist seven day all health and beverage license has petitioned to transfer the license and the location from the above to hospitality, Boston Hospitality Partners doing business as the club at 115 Federal Street, floor 35 in Boston. Uh, premise consists of approximately 12,255 square feet on floor 35 consisting of kitchen, plus or minus 1,150 square feet, entry plus or minus 245 square feet, the bar plus or minus 685 square feet, dining area plus or minus 750 square feet, lounge plus or minus 800 square feet, private dining lounge plus or minus 475 square feet, private dining area plus or minus 395 square feet, game room plus or minus 1,485 square feet, screening room plus or minus 820 square feet, an annual outdoor terrace number one, plus or minus 4,350 4, square feet in an annual outdoor terrace of 1,100 square feet with aggregate seating for 243 hours of operation from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, manager is John Luciano, and they lastly has pledged, um, has petitioned to change the type of the license from a section 12 restaurant all alcoholic beverage license to a section 12 club all, all, all alcoholic beverages license. Good job. I vote to approve. <laughs> As do I. I agree. Okay. That's another long one. Uh, item number 20 is LFW LLC doing business as legal Osteria at 10 City Square, Charlestown. Holder of a common victualler, seven day all, all, all alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to transfer the license and location from the above to Boston Hospitality Partners LLC, doing business as the connector in the collective located at 115 Federal Street in Boston. Premise consists of one main entrance on Federal Street, one entrance on Devonshire, and four exits, approximately 27,089 square feet on four floors. 9,300 square feet on the ground floor, consisting of event and banquet space, and approximately 9,300 square feet, with seating for 348. 5,685 square feet on mezzanine, consisting of a kitchen of 1,085 square feet, a bar, 1,039 square feet, a lounge, approximately 817 square feet, north dining area, 960 square feet, south dining area, approximately 1,784 square feet, with aggregate seating for 204. 1,492 square feet on the second floor consisting of a meeting room. The west has 660 approximate square feet. The meeting room on the east has approximately 832 square feet with aggregate seating for 129. 10,612 square feet on the third floor consisting of a kitchen with approximately 567 square feet, an entry of 510 square feet, a bar and dining area, approximately 1,930 square feet, a lounge area, approximately 1,475 square feet, co-worker area, 3,635 square feet, a game room with plus or minus 680 square feet, a sports simulator room with plus or minus 440 square feet, and a meeting room, 1,375 approximate square foot, with aggregate seating for 269 hours of operation, 8 a.m. to 2 a.m., John Luciano is manager vote to support, um, to approve. Yes, do I? I do as well. Item number 21 is Touchtone Enterprises, LLC, doing business as Two Cheese Shamrock Bar Pub, located at 501 East 8th Street in South Boston. Holder of a common victualler, seven-day all-alcoholic beverages license, has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to Shamrock Boston LLC, doing business as Shamrock Pub at the same location. Angus O'Leary, manager, 1 a.m. closing hour. Um, I approve the transfer of this license to this location. I agree. Item number 21 is 01350 Boylston Street, doing business as Oath Pizza on 1348 Boylston Street in Boston. Holder of a common victualler seven day wines and malt beverages with liqueurs license has petitioned to transfer the license and the location from the above to Street Prince LLC located at 48 Temple Street in Boston. The premise consists of 3,293 square feet of retail space, one dining room on street level and one dining room, one kitchen and two restrooms on the lower floor. Closing hour 2 a.m. F. Thiep Kamwezis is manager. Thanks, Leslie. I want to note for the record that we it was requested that we hold our vote until October 13th um, by both uh, the Midtown Park Plaza Association and also um, 
Owen asked, but I'd like to know for the record that this location currently has a restaurant that has closed. It was a previously licensed restaurant. Um, I vote to approve the transfer of the liquor license to, to this location, but we would not issue the license until the community process um, was completed. It is now taking um, upwards of six weeks for the ABCC to review these applications. Um, and the fact that our board has reduced our voting hearings to twice a month, um, I wouldn't wanna put this business into um, a place of hardship because I was not able to schedule additional hearings in time. Um, that being said, any entertainment application would be put on hold until after the, until after the um, neighborhood meeting. Um, and until the complete process was completed. I agree. I felt the same way, I agree. Moving on to item number 23, Mitzos LLC doing business as Crassy at 48 Gloucester Street, Boston. Holder of a common victualler, seven day wines and malt beverages license has petitioned to transfer the license and the location from the above to CGK on Newberry Street LLC doing business as Crazy Good Kitchen. 266 to 268 Newberry Street, Boston, Mass. The premise consists of a commercial restaurant located in two subterranean floors of 266 to 268 Newberry Street, containing approximately 2,319 square feet with two rooms, a bar, two restrooms, basement storage, and two outdoor patios, containing approximately 700 square feet on the first floor, the patios are on private property and will contain 10 tables with the closing hour for 10 p.m. Selma M. D'Souza is manager. Lastly, has petitioned to change the classification of a license to wines, malt, beverages with liqueurs pursuant to the authority contained in Chapter 481 of the Acts of 1994. This was recently approved by the board. Um, they just added the addition of the upgrade of license. Vote to approve. I agree. Yes, again. Item number 24 is Mattapan Gas Station doing business as Metro Plus Superstation located at 682 Cummins Highway. Has applied for a retail package store wines and malt beverages license to be exercised on the above. One story pre-existing structure containing approximately 2,340 square feet with one room for retail and two rooms for dry storage. Manager, Kamini Y. Patel. Closing time, 11 p.m. Um, this application is to add a few racks um, of beer and wine to the um, to the convenience store mini mart side of the gas station. Um, there, I do want to acknowledge there is another liquor store diagonally across the street, separated by um, an island in the middle. Um, I do think while there was opposition, there was um, a lot of support as well. And I think the applicant um, satisfied the public need requirements for a new uh, license at this location. Yeah, I agree. I agree as well. Item number 25 is new SS Group Inc. doing business as SS Market located at 1283 River Street in Hyde Park. Has applied for a retail package store wines and malt beverages license to be exercised on the above. Premises is a convenience store on one floor, total square footage, 1,250. Manager Sumon Kamanath, closing time, 11 p.m. I think the applicant satisfied the requirements of public need for a new license at this location. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 26 is Bella Haven Restaurant Group doing business as The Haven at the Brewery, located at 284 Amory Street in Jamaica Plain has applied for common victualler seven day alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above. In two rooms on the first floor with kitchen and storage in the rear left of the premise, two entrances on Amory Street and three emergency exits to include seasonal outdoor dining room, April through October for 60 patrons from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Capacity breakdown is 170 seated, 50 standing. Manager, Jason Waddleton, closing time 1 a.m. Um, excuse me. I don't believe the applicant established the need for a new license at this location. So for that reason, I don't, um, my vote is to, to not approve this application at this time, but should they seek to come back with a application from another location, 
I would take a look at it through the lens of public need. I mean, there, there, this, this is the the place where there was a a restaurant there before. You ju you're just talking about the, the alcohol license. Yeah, I'm just talking about a new license. Um, I think this location perhaps could sustain a license, but a new license, one that you know isn't transfer transferred from another location. Um, I. I felt that the public need has been demonstrated by the previous restaurant there. I think the only reason it's not there is because of the pandemic. Right, but I, they're, they're applying for a neighborhood restricted license and um, you know, I, I don't see a public need for a neighborhood restricted license at this location. Yeah, I, I was a yes. I, yeah, I was a yes too actually. <laughs> Okay. I'm I, mean, I, th I think the neighborhood itself, um, you know, there, 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 as, you know, as Liam said, I agree, there was an existing restaurant there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, that was a popular place. It was, you know, I, I, unfortunately, they couldn't make it through the pandemic. I don't know why business wise, but I'm familiar with the location and that restaurant. And it was very, it, it, you know, the public. I don't, I don't disagree with you. I just think from a, a standpoint of the board, the board only has a limited number of these licenses and we may not have any. So they're yeah, if, if one's not available, they, they wouldn't they wouldn't be issued one. Yeah. If one happened to be around, I would be on the yes side definitely. Okay. I'm on a no. So yeah, I, I, I would say yes. Okay. Okay. Um, ready for item number 27, Kathleen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, item number 27, Chase in the Fly, Logan LLC, doing business as Stephanie's, Logan Airport, Terminal E in East Boston. As applied for an airport common victuala, seven-day all-alcoholic beverages license to be exercised on the above, a 3,565-square-foot restaurant on one floor in Terminal E at the Logan Airport with four rooms, including the kitchen, seating capacity 130, manager Antonio Alicia, closing time 2 a.m. I vote to approve. Okay. I agree as well. Item number 28 is DW Cafe Corporation, doing business as DW Cafe, located at 23 Houghton Street in Boston, has applied for a common victualler seven day wines and malt beverages license to be exercised on the above basement level with 1200 square feet, one front entrance and one rear exit, dining area at the front with kitchen in the rear, Two restrooms between the dining area and the kitchen, seating capacity of 22, manager Christine Tron Guan, closing time 11 p.m. And I just wanna note this applicant has also applied for CV only. Okay. Um, to echo what I had said for number 26, I don't think they established the public need for a new license at this location. I had reservations about this one as well. Just wow. where it is. There's a lot of restaurants in the area. Could that... you just could you just remind me where where it is again? Chinatown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, I was just jumping in because I I was a I was a no on this one as well. Yeah, I mean I think it's a very small place in Chinatown has a lot of licenses. Um, Okay. Yeah, okay. I, agree. I agree. But should they wish to come back and uh, seek approval for a transfer license, that would be a different. Um, so without prejudice is what you're saying? Well, it would be a different application for a different type of license. It would be a transfer. Not, none of these are prejudiced to come back. I just, they would have to go out on the open market and buy a license. And what about the CV only? Is that before us right now, Les, um, Maria? Yeah, it, it was in the queue. Do you want to have that we on the next approve, hearing? We can, approve, we can approve the CV only. Okay. I agree. I would agree as well. Okay. The following are applying for new common victual licenses at a previous license location. Item number one is Los Hornitos LLC, located 235 Meridian Street, East Boston. One floor, kitchen in the rear, storage in the basement, 16 seats. Sandra Barbosa as manager of record, hours of operation, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. I vote to approve. 
Okay. Item number two is Chuha Food Inc. doing business as Jibai Chua at 50 Beach Street, Boston, in one room on the first floor with kitchen and storage in the mezzanine, 16 seats. Ying Hong as man manager of record, hours of operations, Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday is 11 a.m. to midnight. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number three is Nine Thai Express LLC, from business as Thai Express, located at 433 Cambridge Street, Austin, in one room on the first floor with kitchen and storage in the rear, 10 seats. No pa Wan, Swimming Coastal as manager of record. I apologize for that. Hours of operation, Monday through Friday, 11.30 a.m. to midnight, Saturday through Sunday, 12 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. I vote to approve. Okay. Item number four, Ban Mi Oak, Inc., located at 44 School Street in Boston. Uh, has a juice bar, juice and smoothie bar, prep area with electric appliances and refrigeration, employee restroom and takeout only. Haley Tron is manager of record, hours of operation, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I vote to approve. Okay. Item number five, Bennington Street Donuts, LLC, located at 951 Bennington Street in Boston, um, in one room on the first floor with a kitchen in the rear, storage in the basement, 24 seats. Michael Leonardi is manager of record, hours of operation, 4 a.m. to 11 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Item number six is East Boston Donuts, LLC, located at 356 Bennington Street, East Boston. First floor dining room, service area, bathroom and bathroom alcove. Basement area includes dry storage, 12 seats. Michael Leonardi is manager of record, hours of operation, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number seven is Maverick Square Donuts, LLC, located at 13 to 15 Maverick Square in East Boston. In one room on the first floor with kitchen in the rear and storage in the basement, 10 seats. Michael Leonardi as manager of record. Hours of operation, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Vote to approve. <coughs> Agree. Item number eight, Vegas Eats Group, located at 399 Boylston Street in Boston. Two rooms on the ground floor with seating. Outdoor seasonal patio from April to November on private property with 24 seats, 20 indoor seats. Catherine Mark is manager of record, hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Item number nine is 2040 Center Street, Center Inc., doing business as Dino's Pizza and Subs, located 2040 to 2044 Center Street, West Roxbury. First floor seating, counter, kitchen on side, 42 seats. Joginger Sane as manager of record, hours of operation, Sunday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 10, Sell High Family Group, Light LLC, doing business as McDonald's, located at 540 Commonwealth Ave, Boston. One room on the first floor, kitchen in the rear, basement and storage. Also include walk-up window for the same hours as a restaurant, 92 seats. Shirag Selhai as manager of record, hours of operation, 5.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Um, I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Now, item number 11 is Sudse Hanover, LLC, doing business as Sudse Sandwich Company, located at 227 Hanover Street in Boston. One room on the first floor, lower, lower kitchen, zero seats. Jessica Chip as manager of record, hours of operation, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number 12 is Simo Sophie Inc. doing business as Good Eats Pizza, located at 1002 Tremont Street in Boston. One room with small area for pickup, a couple of cold units, grill, two fry ladies, freezer, and pizza oven. Walk-in cooler and dry storage in the basement, no seats. Mohammed Esofi, as manager of record, hours of operation, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and 12 p.m. to 9, to 9 p.m. on Sunday. I vote to approve. Thank you. as well. And the following has applied to make changes to their existing common victual license. 
Item number one, Monumental Market Group, LLC, doing business as Monumental Market, located at 36 South Street, Jamaica Plain, has petitioned for change within the LLC. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Item number two, Hong's Restaurant, Inc., doing business as New Hong Kong Restaurant, located at 14 Tremont Street in Alston, has petitioned to change the owner and manager of the licensed business from Jerong Hong to Hong Chan. I vote to approve. I agree. Here as well. Item number three, Nawaii Inc., doing business as Sum Tum Modern Thai Cuisine, located at 1894 Senate Street, West Roxbury, has petitioned for changes within the corporation. I vote to approve. I agree. Here as well. Item number four, Harold Crockett Company Inc., located at 855 William T. Morrissey Boulevard in Dorchester, has petitioned to change the officer from Paul. Gobestays to Francine Gobestays. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Okay. Oh. Items five, six, seven, eight, nine are all same manager changes. Um, for the record, I'll just read the name. Just do the name and address and then. Perfect. Uh, Donuts Inc. at 1580 Dorchester Ave. Galvin Bull is item number six is Galvin Boulevard Donuts located at 719 Galvin Boulevard in Dorchester. Item number seven would be Ashmont Donuts Inc. at 1931 Dorchester Ave in Dorchester. And number eight would be Lower Mills Donut Inc. located at 2290 Dorchester Ave. And number nine would be Freeport Donuts at 1236 Dorchester Ave. And they're all changing from Paul to Paul Francine. Paul to Francine. Okay, I vote to approve all of them. I agree. Yes, you all. Item number 10, the original Grand Summer Street LLC, located at 93 Summer Street in Boston, is petitioned to remove <coughs> Office of Nicholas, Nicholas Jacobs. I vote to approve. Okay. Item number 11, Air Ventures LLC, doing business as NE Market, Logan Airport, Terminal B, East Boston, has applied to change the offices <coughs> from George H. Walker, President, 51 shares. Heather Claxton manager, William R. Newland to AV Holdings, 75 shares. George H. Walker, president, 12.25 shares. Black Dog LLC, William R. Newland, executive vice president, 12.25 shares. And Airmail Boston, Inc., sub lesser, Massport Authority as the lesser. I vote to approve. Thank you. I agree as well. And item number 12, Oak Square Coffee House, uh, LLC, doing business as Dunkin' Donuts, located at 598 to 600 Washington Street in Brighton, has applied to add a new office manager from James Pino, owner manager to James Pino, owner manager, Kyle Pino, manager. Um, I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Okay, the following lodging houses is applying for a transfer of license. Item number one is Ram 11 Hereford LLC, located at 11 Hereford Street, Boston. Mary Plum is manager of record. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Item number two is C Real Estate LLC, located 291 Beacon Street, Boston. George Paratunian as manager of record. I vote to approve. I agree. Okay. The following lodging house is applying for change of manager. Item one is 284 Hexacon LLC doing business as 282 located at 284 Commonwealth at Boston. Request to change the manager record from Richard Coppola to Greg Klein. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree. Okay, the following are applying for a one day amendment to existing license. Item number one, Mass Bay Brewing Company Inc. doing business as Hop Room Brewery, located 306 Northern Ave, Boston, has applied for a one day extension of premise to include the parking lots surrounding the brewery for outdoor Oktoberfest slash Dogtoberfest Festival on October 1st to October 3rd, between the hours of 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. and 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. and 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. I vote to approve. 
I agree. I agree. Item number two, Timeout Market in Boston, LLC, doing business as Timeout Market, located at 401 Park Drive, Boston, has applied for a one-day amendment for a movie night on October 16th between the hours of 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. I vote to approve. I agree. I agree as well. Okay, and the following are special one-day alcoholic licenses. There are four items. St. Natario's Church is applying for an all alcohol license for a festival at 2 Robert Street, Rosendale from um, October 15th to October 17th between the hours of 5 p.m. and 12 a.m. Constantinos Bazarkis is manager on record. I vote to approve and um, I vote to approve. Are we reading out the one days still? No, yeah. I was just gonna, I was just gonna jump in. Okay. Say, Maria, the, the special one day all Alks and the special one day malt and wines. Yep. Um, they've been previously reviewed by in the special one day charity wine licenses. They've been previously reviewed by um, the board. So um, we don't need to read them all. Into record. Okay. Into the record. So we okay. can go down to old and new business. Perfect. <laughs> Live. <laughs> okay. Old and new business. Uh, item number one, Grove Hall Food Corp, doing business as Grove Hall Convenience Market. Number two, located at 292 Talbot Ave in Boston, has applied for retail package store wines and malt beverages license. This matter was deferred to allow for the completion of the community process, which has occurred. And what was the result? Um, it was supported. Okay. So for, for that reason and the reasons previously discussed in the record, um, I vote to approve. Thank you. Sounds good. Item number two is Franco LLC. The board deferred its vote regarding the application by Franco LLC doing business as Polino's Restaurante at 2A Prince Street in Boston. Holder of a common victualler, seven day wines and malt beverages with liqueurs license has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to Isabella Restaurant Inc. doing business as Isabella at the same location. Cristobal Faye Paz is manager, 1 a.m. closing hour. This was also deferred to allow for completion of community process, which has been completed and provide um, final satisfactory without opposition. I vote to approve the transfer. I agree. I agree. The next item would be Big Bag Dog LLC. The board deferred its vote regarding this application by the Big Bag Dog LLC doing business as Dominic's at 54 Salem Street. Holder of a common victualler, seven day wines and malt beverages with liqueurs license has petitioned to transfer the license from the above to Witchcraft LLC, doing business as Witchcraft on Salem at the same location. Mary Beth Besson is manager at a 1 a.m. closing. This matter was deferred to allow for the completion of the community process, which has occurred. However, since the application has been heard, the they petitioned to um, the board, they requested to change the original DBA from Witchcraft on Salem to New England Witchcraft Company upon approval of the board. I think that's fine. I vote to approve um, both the transfer and the DBA change. That's fine. I agree. Um, item number four is Yard House USA Inc. Yard House USA Inc. doing business as Yard House at 110 Huntington Ave has requested to serve alcohol in conjunction with brunch on Sundays beginning at 10 a.m. I vote to approve. I agree. Item number five is Auditorium Cafe. The board is in receipt of a formal notice of Chapter 11 bankruptcy proceedings for Auditorium Cafe, doing business as the Poor House, located at 909 Boylston Street, holder of a common victualist seven-day all-alcoholic all beverage license. I vote to approve. <coughs> Okay. Item number six is Ka Kailua Royal Hawaiian Inc. The board is in receipt of correspondence from Kailua Ho Royal Hawaiian doing business as Taxi Pool Cafeteria, 56 Harborside Drive in East Boston. Uh, the holder of this common victualler license is notifying the board of its closure. I vote to, um, I guess we accept it. Yeah. I agree. Item number seven is Tori Ray Crowell, 
The board had received a correspondence from Tori Ray Crowell doing business as Vole Nole at 351 Hanover Street, holder of a common victual seven day wines and malt with liqueurs, notifying the board of its closure and intend to transfer and ask for some time for that to happen. Uh, received by the board. I think we would note that, Maria. Yes. And sorry. Uh, item number eight, Wagamama Boston 1 LLC. The board is in receipt of correspondence from Wagamama 1 LLC on 100, 100 Northern Ave, Boston, holder of the common victualer seven day all alcoholic beverages license, also notifying the board of its closure and intent to transfer. Received. And that is all the items before the board today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Hello? Is someone Hello? there? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is Gabriela. I'm from Simply Bar and Bites. And I tried to hear the whole thing. I'm still working, but I don't know if I missed it. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maria? Gabrielle, Gabrielle received an email earlier today. She will be- Oh, we're, we're, we're still seven. recording. So is, do, is this something we should stop the recording for? No, Maria? I don't. I just didn't 